Nice shooting, son. What's your name? Murphy. Welcome back to my channel, YouTube. My name is John Deke. My channel is called John Deke Toy Reviews and more. And today I'm back at it again and I'm bringing you guys something robotic to check out. Here in front of me is the all new, just released Chronicle Collectibles half scale Robocop bust. Um, this is what the brown shipper obviously is gonna look like. I just wanted to show you guys that that is a bottle of water, okay? I'm using an ultra wide lens to get this box into the entire view of the frame shot. So the box itself, it's, it's massive. It's probably, I would say, almost over two feet tall. So it's a huge box. I'm super excited to show this to you guys today. One quick thing, just wanted to mention to you, if you haven't yet, take a moment, go over to Facebook and join our group 1-6 Society. 7,000 members, we share photos of action figures and different types of really nice collectibles. I think you guys will really enjoy yourselves there. Also, a quick shout out to my buddy in Paris, France, Julian. He is the founder of the largest Robocop Facebook group in the world. It's called Robocop fans all around the world. I actually help co-manage the group. So if you're a huge Robocop fan, we'd love for you to come join us there and see all of the exclusive, awesome Robocop content that we have there. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this bust out of the brown shipper. I got Robocop out of the brown shipper, and I gotta tell you guys that this box is huge. So I, I, I wanna really express that to you because you know, you guys aren't really gonna be able to pick this up. You know, most of you are watching this on your phones or, or maybe a television or your computer screen, and it's just not gonna pick up the sheer size of this massive box. So it's, it's really large. I want you guys to know that. So this is done by Chronicle Collectibles. Who is Chronicle Collectibles? Some of you may know of them, some of you may not. Uh, Chronicle Collectibles is, a, is kind of a, a newer company. They've been around for a few years. What really put them on the map would have been the Robocop Kane statue that they did, which was an exact precise replica of Phil Tippett's Kane puppet from the film RoboCop 2. So uh, from my brief experience with Chronicle, um, I gotta tell you guys, I, I met with them at Comic-Con and just awesome people. Um, you know, I, I told, I said, hey, you know, when is my bust gonna come? I, I've been paying for it. Right there on the iPad, the young lady looked up my order. It was, it was an awesome experience. I was really, really happy to have gotten a chance to meet them. Um, in case anybody's wondering, the main star of the show over at Chronicle is a guy by the name of Paul Francis. Um, he's more of the public figure for the company and he does a lot of the, the sculpting and artwork himself for a lot of the collectibles. So that's my little brief Chronicle collectibles history. So let's go ahead and take a look at this awesome box. The first thing I wanna point out to you guys, I don't know if you can see this or not, but these letters here that say RoboCop are slightly raised. And if you stand back from the box, if you order this, I want you guys to do this. If you stand back from the box, it's gonna look like it's completely 3D and popping out at you. That is freaking awesome. I love that very much. Over here is going to be the helmet section on the box for RoboCop. Uh, down below, again, it's gonna say RoboCop half scale bust and it's gonna have little logos of OCP on the front of the box. Next, I wanna move to the back of the box because there's text wrapped all around us and then I'll go over the sides. So first thing you're going to notice, 
there's going to be uh, some stuff written on the top of the box. It says here, come quietly or there will be trouble. And, it, <laughs> and then uh, it says here, Sentinel Detroit, a crime written ghetto of the not too distant future, a cop killed in the line of duty robot. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm not gonna read it all, but you guys will see it if you buy it. Here are some still shots from RoboCop, the film. Some beautiful, iconic shots from the film. Uh, down below over here, again, you're gonna have half scale bust, RoboCop, Chronicle collectibles, a black and white photo of the bust. And then of course at the bottom, it's going to say uh, RoboCop trademark 1987, Orion Pictures Corporation 2017, all rights reserved and so forth. So as you move this to the side of the box, you're going to notice that some text starts here and continues over. It says, serve the public trust, protect the innocent, uphold the law. And that's where you'll be able to see the top of the side of the box as it leads down to the bottom where more of the prime directives are listed. As for the other side of the box, you're just going to have the same prime directives and another shot of Robocop from the film. And then let's go ahead and move over to the top of the box. You're going to notice that it's gonna say Omni Consumer Products, which we all know is abbreviated OCP. And that is the top of the box. And let's just quickly take a peek at the bottom of the box. <laughs> and the bottom of the box simply says, made in China. Before I continue with the unboxing and assembling the bust, I wanted to show you guys the bottom of the base. This is going to be the base that the actual bust slides into. So there's gonna be a hole here and the bust itself has a pin and the pin slides down into this hole, stabilizing the bust. And then this is actually what it's going to sit on. And it's fairly, fairly heavy. The base is uh, fairly heavy. Um, on the front over here, you're going to notice that you're going to have the RoboCop logo and various uh, you know, parts, what I would perceive to be uh, the top section of RoboCop's uh, shoulders, where he has those uh, hooks that uh, I guess you could maybe <laughs> use a, a crane to lift him if you needed to, if he, if he malfunctioned. And you're just gonna have these little joint pins uh, that you know they could use to disconnect various parts of his limbs if they needed. And a really cool thing that I wanna tell you guys right off the bat is all of this is sculpted. It's all sculpted. Then if I turn it around and I show you guys the side profile, you're again, you're gonna have sort of like this, this piston here that attaches to the back of the bottom of the base which could potentially be, you know, something modeled after his his heel or or um, you know the upper part between his calves and his Achilles heel, that piston that slides up and down as he's walking. Um, and then over here on the back, you're going to have you know more different sculpted sections. On the other side, more sculpted sections, and then at the top. You're just gonna have this flat piece that you're just going to lay the bust against. Now, on the bottom of the base, you're going to notice that right here is going to be the Chronicle Collectibles logo. It's going to say RoboCop 1 Half Scale Bust, limited edition. This one just so happens to be 49 of 300 and then it's going to have the trademark information. All of this is actually on a foam piece uh, that is glued to the bottom of the base. So if you're going to put your RoboCop bust on a table and you need to slide it around, um, you know, just be kind of careful because I could see this uh, coming off if you do do that. It will rub off. Uh, an option you can do is uh, at Home Depot or a hardware store, you can get these little felt 
you know, stickers that go on here. You could put one here, put one here, put one there, and then this way you don't run the risk of rubbing off your limited edition. Because I'll tell you guys, if you move this around enough, it is gonna come off. These are the little things I told you about. They're just super cheap. You can get a bag of them. Uh, in different sizes for two, three dollars. And they just stick on and they come off really easily. They won't leave any sticky residue. And this way you can kind of elevate your bust just a little bit, but you're also securing it. So you're not rubbing off the limited edition mark on there and you can slide it around on a smooth surface really easily. Overall, the base just looks, <laughs> It looks really awesome so far. I, I very much like how it's it's colored and, and just the sculpting looks really cool and the weathering and everything gives it that really awesome machine look to it. So as you guys can see, I have the bust set up in front of me. And I gotta tell you, when I first unwrapped the, the paper wrapping, I was a bit taken back. I was just like, you guys know sometimes every once in a while you have like one of those wow moments. Um, I had one of those moments just now. I, I wanna say this right now, if, if Chronicle Collectibles, Paul, if you're watching this, please make a half scale Robocop. The entire thing just like this. I would go crazy over something like that. Honest, I would buy two of them and just, I'd probably put one in my bedroom so I could wake up and have coffee with Robocop. So anyway, <laughs> ultimate nerd right here, I know. Um, anyway, guys, here it is. I wanted to show you how large it is. Here's a water bottle. I'm gonna place it next to the bust. It's, it's a fairly large bust. Is it as big as the, the Fred Barton bust? that Sideshow released a few years ago. No, it's not. It's a little smaller, but it's still just a, a good large size. And here's a, you know the water bottle so you guys can kind of gauge how big it is. Um, man, I'll tell you, just, it's crazy. This, this paint application is just, everything's so shiny and so, you know, it just pops at you. I really hope that my camera does this bust justice as far as the colors go because I'm telling you guys the purple hues and just the blues that the suit has is completely done very very well with this bust it just the whole thing just really really pops at you and it's just <laughs> it's really awesome I'm, I'm so happy with it here you guys are going to see the chest armor how it's sculpted they captured all of the really awesome details of the uh, the chest armor plate. The shoulders, you guys are going to be able to see right here. Like I mentioned earlier, it has those two little hook areas. And then the tops of the shoulders, the bottom of the chin, and then obviously the centerpiece, which would be the face sculpt. And I'll go over that with you guys in one minute, what I think about that. And then over here, you're going to notice the other side of the shoulder and so forth. And coming out, you're gonna have the beautiful black visor and his helmet. And just overall so far, from what I can see, it just looks really, really, really awesome. And I love it. I wanna go over the facial features of, of Alex Murphy, Robocop. Um, first I want to mention is that the sculpt was 3D sculptured uh, by Inigo Gill and also Dean Tolliver. Uh, these two guys are just two very well-known artists, especially uh, uh, Inigo in the six scale community. Um, this is actually a 3D sculpt of the face, um, you know, Alex Mur Murphy's face that they took straight from the, uh, the film Robocop using archived footage. As far as the paint application goes, that was done by Alex Alva. And then also the suit was done by Paul Francis and the base was done by Kerry Gamel. So those are the artists that worked on this. Um, what do I think about the likeness of the face? 
Well, it looks pretty spot on to Peter Weller, to me. Here is a side view of the bust, and right here, I can just grab it with the perfect lighting. You'll see how the purple hues pop out of the bust, which is just absolutely awesome, I think. If I move back just a little bit, you're going to see a nice profile shot of the bust. You're not going to have any arms or anything like that, obviously, it's just going to be black space, but you know that's, that's what a bust is. Um, the overall height of the bust is about 15 inches, and it weighs 11 pounds total. Here is the back of the bust, and again, you're just going to notice all of the details in the back of his helmet, the back of his shoulders, and then moving outwards, you're going to notice that part I showed you earlier that the base leans against. And then of course, you're going to have the full section of the bottom of the base. Final thoughts, what do I think about the Chronicle Collectibles Robocop half scale bust? Well, so far from what I can see, the paint application is absolutely awesome. I love it. The likeness for Peter Weller is there. The armor pieces look great. The, the bottom base that they created is awesome. My most favorite thing about this bust is the paint application, how it pops with the purple hues, which gives it that authenticity of RoboCop, which I absolutely love. What don't I like about the half scale bust? Well, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to log this one under one of those collectibles that I review as nothing. I don't see anything that I don't like about it. So that's it. If you guys are a RoboCop fan, please take a moment, come join uh, me and Julian's RoboCop group. It's called RoboCop fans all around the world. It's on Facebook, awesome members. If you're a six scale figure fan, come join One Six Society, 7,000 members, awesome photos, awesome videos of really cool collectibles. I really hope you guys enjoyed my review. If you liked it, please smash that like button for me. Let me know that what I'm doing, you guys are enjoying it. Remember to click the bell when you subscribe to my video, or if you're already subscribed, click that bell right next to the subscription button. So this way you get an email or a text message every time I upload a new video so you don't miss out. All right guys, until next time, I will catch you at the next video.